Calamari's on the menu. I thought that was supposed to do things! Indiana Jones! Chocolate rain! Pours down from that large old sewer drain. Chocolate rain. Zombie tadpoles trying to eat my brain. Chocolate rain. Oh God. Hello. Uh, Papa went to go put on a jacket because Papa's cold because it's going to get real, real cold tonight. Real, real cold. Yeah, that whole intro is copyrighted. The whole intro. The the beginning part, the second part, the whole the whole part. The whole, hey, what's up? The whole beginning of the, of the whole thing. It's all copyrighted. Every bit of it. I don't know. Whatever. I didn't have, I didn't have time to fix it today. But I'm going to eventually. Yeah. At some point. Hi. Welcome. Seth Green is set to voice Howard the Duck coming next year. Just come in hot with some news, why don't you? Come in hot. It's going to get real cold tonight, folks. It's going to get real spooky. It's going to get real scary. Playing a brand new horror game called There's Something in the Ice. Inspired by my favorite horror movie. I absolutely love The Thing. And this game is the spiritual inspired successor of The Thing. So we'll be playing that for the first part of the broadcast. And then if the game runs about an hour and a half, and if that ends up taking up our full runtime, great. And if it doesn't, we got a couple more games. One's a Japanese horror game that's pretty short called Tabishi. And another one's called Final Solution. No matter what, we are going to have fun. We are going to slay some monsters. We are going to spread some justice. Your Discord alert didn't go out. I didn't do a Discord alert because I sent one earlier today to everybody to let them know that we're streaming tonight. But There we go. Send, a, send a, another one there. There we go. Beard, blade, and battle, and bruise. It's just ginger beer and orange juice. Just ginger beer and orange juice. If you guys want to support the broadcast, you want to support the League of Blades, if you want to give tribute as we spread justice all across the realm. Super chat. Or becoming a Blade Master, having the badge beside of your name. Let all of you know that you are a frontline evil slaying song bitch. Frontline evil slaying song bitch. The Blade signal is up. Let's see who's answered the call. Hello, Aaron. Hello, Natalie. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Andrew. K 
Can I request a Scotty famous happy birthday for my oldest son? He turns 12 today. I would love to sing your son happy birthday. What's his name? I'll give him a, a rendition. We don't need to get in trouble for Dragon Ball. Hey, Saul. Hello, Cat. Hello, Dan. Are you going to play the thing thing with your fingers? You know it. Hello, Keller. Hello, Snazzy. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Dan. Hello, Poopy. Hello, Parker. His name is Isis. Did I pronounce it right? I'm Appalachian. I'm terrible at pronunciations. Isis. Hey, Cody. Isis. Isis. Let me load my game up here. I did pronounce it right. All right, let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Isis. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, little buddy. Happy 12 years. Awesome. Thank you for hanging out on your birthday here with us in League of Blades. Thanks for being my little hero. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Blake. In 2015, a team of scientists from the Arctic station Zarya took ice samples for research from the depths of two kilometers. Just as they were about to return to base, a severe snowstorm began. Is that how it goes? Once they reached the base, they went to the old bunker, a security protocol instructed them to do. The space turned red. <laughs> hey, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. First achievement of the game, Snowstorm. Welcome to the bunker. This was not the graphics that I was expecting. The trailer for the game looked like it was more 8-bit, but hey, I'm down. I'm down. I'm a pilot. I can fly. First off, the game is gorgeous. Let's hope it's got some personality. I'm the manliest hero on the internet, which means I'm stupid. It's true. When you do the math, the manlier you are, the worse of a person and dumber you are. It checks out. It's 2024 math. So I saw a guy in there with flannel wearing a hat. Another hero. What's up, Night Shroud? Hello, Helen. I hear heart beating, but that might just be like a generator or something. My current objective is to talk with Beekter, but you guys can't see my current objective, so let me move my camera down a little bit so you guys can see. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Hey, Morgan. It's a real sausage fest in here. Where's the ladies? You must be Victor. Let me warm up my Jingaloids real quick. It's cold out there. This guy's trying to posture up on me. Nobody's bigger and wider than blades. He's trying to posture up on me. I should have put in my stream title huge announcement. All 
Alright, Victor. I know you're cup of a fart. You're about to throw it at me. But I guess I'll talk to you. He's engaging his lap. The thumbnail for the broadcast. I made that thing whole 100% all me, baby. Listen. <laughs> his fingers look like mine. <laughs> I've, I have broken every single finger on both of my hands. So whenever I open my fingers up, they do weird, weird stuff. So I, I and plus when it's cold, it's worse. His hands are huge. You know what that means. Listen, remind me why we work in this godforsaken abandoned hole. Probably because somebody pays us. Are you talking about the Arctic or this Cold War bunker? Are you talking about the Arctic, or are you talking about this cold water bunker? Is this your last stream? Yeah, I quit. Yes, it's scary for me here too. And regarding your question, you remember that strong storm that started, and we had to come down here? Plus, it's good that there's an old laboratory down here. That way we didn't have to move the equipment from the station. That's very convenient. Yes, I remember. The question was rhetorical. God, in two years with us, you still haven't learned to understand jokes, Victor. Well, I'm sorry. This guy should have got me to the voice instead of Viggo Mortensen. I'm kidding, I'm kidding about the samples we found. You'd better ask our microbiologist about that. This game's pegging my computer. Taking it real hard. It's taking it real hard. Oh, V Sync's on, that's why. Lumens! Eagles fly! As your dirty thoughts has gifted a membership and brought on a new hero. To the Hall of Heroes. $20 from Dragon Shadow 32. You're another good year of birthday. Sharpen your axe, feed your falcon, steal your heart to triumph through the year and ahead. Happy birthday, Scotty Blade by Dragon Shadow 32. Hey, man. Thank you so much. It's not my birthday. But I really, really appreciate the tribute! Tribute! The first tribute of tonight's adventure! And words to live by. Let me say them again. Sharpen your axe. Feed your falcon. We use eagles, but same thing. They're both birds of prey. Steal your heart to triumph over your year ahead. Happy birthday insert person that's not me thank you so much dragon shadow thank you very very much for the tribute thank you for supporting the league of blades thank you for being my hero you better ask our microbiologist about that i will uh oh okay i lost the ability to play the game there for a second Hello, Misty. All right, we talked to Victor. The game is still pegging my computer for everything it's worth. You know what sucks about this? I paid money for this game. And this is how it's going to run. better you gotta love indie games I get so sick of playing them <laughs> I get burnt out on them and I know they're gonna be bad and then I'm like people like to see them at least on this channel so maybe if I play an indie game it'll spark some interest again and I go and I play an indie game 
and it sucks. <laughs> they always suck. Every once in a while, you'll find a diamond in the rough. This one looked very promising, though. Hey, Maya. Hey, Maya. How are things going here? It's good that there's equipment here, and we can properly study the samples. That's right. It's good that we can be out here independently, alone, and on our own in the middle of winter. That's what I'm asking. Well, what do you think? What do we find? I'm not exactly sure yet, but it looks like some kind of microorganism. Maybe it's time to revisit some AAA horror games. The less games I can play, the better. <laughs> I'm just so shoe buddy. I love Dragon's Dogma, but... The less horror, the better. I get my, I get little morsels of horror every once in a while just to keep going. What do you mean by microorganism? It looks like we found what we were looking for, Thomas. Thomas? We need to examine these samples to understand exactly what they are. Let's observe further. Let us observe. I'll go contact Zvaz Zvaz that station. The storm should have reached them by now. I'll find out if they went down to the shelter. Hey, Maxim. Hello, Special Agent Squawk. Thanks for joining us tonight. Is we hunt some kind of monster, or demon, or unknown entity, haunting these multicultural research center people, I should contact Zesbeta Station. All right. Let's find the radio. Radio? It's all in freaky deaky Dutch. Is this a radio? Is this a radio? My kingdom for a radio. This looks pretty radio y, no? How am I supposed to find the radio room when everything's in a... Aha. Uh -huh. This isn't it. Radio room. Canadians are easy to capture. It's the dog kennel, just like from the thing. Hey, guys. You're all going to die. And one of you is the reason. Okay. Let's go do our objective, I guess. Zez Vada Station! Zarya is calling. Can you hear me? That's Nerda Fergan Derg! I repeat. Zez Station. Zarya is calling. Can you... Radio noise. I can hear you, Zarya. Did they get Scotty Blade to do the voice in this game? Is there... Did I do a recording for this at one point and forget that I did it? I hear you loud and clear, Zarya. How you doing there? Did you manage to go down to the shelter? Yeah, we're here. We're doing fine. Only our newcomer turns out to be claustrophobic. He doesn't seem to be doing too well with his tight quarters. Who even sent him down here? Damn scientist. He sounds like Hank Hill. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. Propane and propane assess. What's up, Tatiana? Well, I heard that someone from the government insisted on his transfer to the station. I knew the government was involved. Well, of course they did. By the way, Ma said you guys found something interesting. I'm gonna say it sounds like Hank Hill. He does sound like Hank Hill. I don't know yet whether this is interesting. She's trying to find out. I try really hard to hide my accent, but it's getting more natural when I talk like that. I don't know yet whether this is interesting. She's trying to find out what we found. Hey, okay. Mark. Okay, keep us posted. We'll continue to explore that rock we came across yesterday. All right, you just keep us informed. Over. Okay, over. Okay, okay, over. Sounds good to me. So we contacted Zizveda, and I didn't actually pay attention to anything that he was saying. 
So hopefully as we... Folks, smoking is very sus. If you learn anything from watching the Scotty Blade show, just learn this. Smoking is very sus. And this guy right here is given sus eyes. Hey, Shayla. Okay, okay, okay. Pour some tea in the kitchen. Is this the kitchen? <gasps> I hear a shower. Can we see boobs? No boobs. The only boob we see is the boob on the screen. Kitchen? No. Nope. Kitchen? No idea what this room is. Almost got like a telltale heart thing going on from Edward Scissorhands, the famous author who drowned himself in a street lamp. Y'all know where the kitchen's at? <laughs> Look at those! Well, guys, I think we found the, <laughs> the alien among us. He's right there. Game spoiled, we already know. Look at them creepy crawly. Look at them salad fingers. Also, he's unnaturally tall. Anybody taller than me is unnaturally tall. Scotty dissed himself before we could. Hey man. You can't laugh at yourself. Get out. I guess this is our kitchen. Need to pour some tea and rest a bit. Wow, what a kitchen. Alright, tea. Michael Jordan's an alien? Uh, where do you get Michael Jordan from that guy? Now, it's been a minute since I've seen Michael Jordan. But I'm pretty sure that's not Michael Jordan. Is this like a... Sex thing? You know, I don't know. Hey, Saul Gambler. What's up, Zachary? Where the ducks be? Ha, 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 That was like 12 games ago. Oops. I mean, that is the thumbnail from tonight's stream, though. How good does that thumbnail look? Whatever, I had a whole skit set up, but I can't find the, the thing. Cool. I had a whole skit set up, but I couldn't find the picture I was looking for. Look at his fingers are pretty rough. Quarantine. Oh, fuck! Galaka, laka, laka, hoo, laka, hi! What's your problem, you freaking creep? Damn it, Victor. Why the hell are you creeping up on me? I mean, you already got them salad fingers. I almost poured boiling water on you. Sorry, Thomas. Maya's calling you. She says she's discovered something. I'm one room over. Can't you just yell? Okay. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. Don't need me change my mind. That guy think he can actually sing? 
Because the night is the night that I will fall for you over again. Dude, that's just whining. Hey, Jojo. Holy crap, Maya's hot. Holy crap, Maya's an alien. Holy crap, I crap my pants. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Thomas. Hey, what's going on? You just won't believe it. And you better put that mug on the table. Take a look at this. You can't tell me what to do. You're also dead in the face. Beware the order of booty warriors. Goofy, Yujiro Hanma. You know I don't speak weeb. I have no idea what you're talking about. Whoa! Alien viruses? Pokemon? Coughing? What did I just see? You just saw an ancient organism awakening after being frozen in ice for thousands of years. What up, Markiplier fan? This game is almost going step by step with the freaking movie. We can, you know what's going to happen? Some Swedish dudes are going to show up on a helicopter throwing grenades out of it into the ground and going, it's not a freaking dog! In broken English, that old man beside of me with the salad fingers is going to shoot the guy in the face, and then that alien dog is going to get into our kennel, he's going to spread his alien seed all over the place, and then we're going to get infected, and then I'm going to turn into Kurt Russell and save the day. How is this possible? I don't know. We need to report this as soon as possible and get down to research. Refreeze it? There's also Russian scientists found a zombie flesh eaten virus that's been frozen in Siberia for millions of years and they unfroze it. Uh, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you introduce something? You know, natural selection, earth powers, like the order of the universe shut that shit down a million years ago? You're gonna let that come back now? Uh? Snake Bliskin, you're our only hope. Nice beard from Markiplier2024. Well, thanks Markiplier. I've seen your beard. It's... Thank you. Appreciate you. Eagles Flies, we welcome another Blade Master to the Hall of Heroes. This one's brought to us by the beautiful and awesome Blade Master Jojo. Jojo, thank you very much for being somebody else's hero, for taking care of folks in our community. I swear Daniel Emer gets a gifted membership like every two streams. He just He's a lucky target, man. Not quite everything that is needed, but there is. We need to somehow send a sample to our guys from the Institute. Correct. Agreed. All right. You keep researching. I'll go home. <laughs> That's almost what it says. Agreed. Okay. You keep researching. I'll go take a rest. Soul Gambler back. 12 months a blade master holding the line in the wars against evil. Thank you very much for your service, Soul Gambler. Sometimes when you gamble in souls, you'll lose. Sometimes. Tell her to blink. I'm afraid to ask her to have any personality because I don't know what's going to happen. How's it going? How's it going? Yeah, I'm... Contact the Hawaiian Institute of Microbiology. Tell them what we found. Maya, describe everything to them in detail. Congratulations, guys. Great job. Oh, I'm in charge. It won't let me move. I hefted up my knee in the shower somehow. Now I can't bend it. 
David, you kept your white badge. So I think next month you will continue to get credit for your months. But nonetheless, David's returned from the fields of battle to join us once again in the Hall of Heroes. Welcome back, David. Seven dollars from your dirty thoughts, huh? Man, nothing gets you ready to slay evil quite Help! Help! Jeepers. Nothing gets you ready to slay evil quite like moving your body and loosening your muscles. Mm. I know I had a whole theme going tonight about us being in the tundra and the thing and it being cold, but holy crap, is it hot in my office. Hey, Alan. I need to read a book on the sofa with a mug of tea. Let's do it. Time to read a book with my mug of tea. Nothing bad can happen to me. Watch this. I am here! Coming <gasps> to the door like a hero! Welcome, Zach. That's one hell of an entrance you made there. Alright, guys. There's some, uh, Shluppily boopily bubbly bulb going on around the corner here. What are these sounds? I need to find the guys. Well, one of them's a lady. Then again, it's 2024, and she can be whatever she wants to be. Better find the guys. Is that all, Mike? Folks, hold out your hands. We got some hero fuel being passed around here in the audience. If I don't get killed, enjoy yourself with a nice super dog with all the vitamin B, steroids, and coffee injected nutrients that you need to be in the red line and on the cutting edge of hero work. Yum, yum. It's a meal in itself. Our all-meat super dog. Enjoy one now. Tribute! I told Five you dollars from Sulgambo. Behold my love and support. Let it flow through you and make you strong and possibly nauseous. Side effects may vary. Well, you know, most things that you take from so through you and make you You know, every king and queen had a wine tester who would drink and test the wine to make sure that it wasn't poisoned. Well, my DAC bot runs all of my messages through a toxicity filter to make sure that I am not poisoned. Thank you for the support and thank you to the DAC bot who <laughs> took away those nauseous side effects that you mentioned. Thank you very much, Soul Gambler. Appreciate you so much. Thank you very much for that tribute. Thank you for supporting the League of Blades. Maya? Ten dollars from Zatchby. I missed the last few, but he tribute. That was a biblical fart tribute. 
The Blade Beacon has been lit. And this broadcast is stronger than ever. Ten bones coming in. We have missed you, Zach. I'm glad things are going all right your way, man. Welcome back. Thank you very much for your tribute to the League of Blades and to the Scotty Blade Show, and thank you. Sucking on chili dog. Sucking on a dog. Sucking on a chili dog. You know that monster's lying in wait for us, right? It's ready for us. It wants us. It needs us. And every two steps I take, I'm either farting, gagging on a chili dog, singing some impromptu song incorrectly out loud, or praising the sun through jolly cooperation from tribute. The monster's already here. Uh, he certainly had... Was that vent always spelled out like that? He certainly had time to... Make his moves. You're immune to most poisons? Hey, John Ake. Okay, I never talk about my health much on the broadcast, but I've been going through some shit with some food allergies. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I ended up having to go get checked out. It's food allergies. And uh, I've had to cut gluten almost completely out of my diet. I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> I feel like a million dollars. YouTube? Oh, yeah. I developed a gluten allergy late in my life. Like, I've, I've ate pizza religiously every day for most of my life. You're suddenly allergic to chocolate? It happens. Secret tunnel through the mountain. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Yeah. All right, so these guys are cool. I didn't know you could cough so hard you could puke. Yeah. Gag reflex. Hey, Betty. Hey, guys. Are you talking to me or Maya? What happened? Have you contacted Hawaii? They didn't get in touch. Damn radio doesn't even work anymore. Just static. I had a friend of mine who was 31 years old and was eating a Reese cup and had allergic reaction and developed an allergy to peanut butter. The peanuts. You can't have any anything peanut related anymore. That nuts. Oh, probably because of the storm. Yeah, most likely. Or maybe it's because it's a Cold War bunker and all the equipment is older than we are. That could also probably contribute to the fact that why this place is so creepy and also why a monster would pitch, like choose this as a hunting ground. All right, I'll try to fix this thing and you can do something else for now. This is nuts, or that's nuts. Yeah, he was, Reese Cup's one of his favorite candies. We was at the movie theater watching a movie getting our normal snacks, me, my popcorn and Sour Patch Kids, him, his Reese Cups, and Diet Coke to help offset the Reese Cups. What's up, layman? Libe? Let's communicate with the outside world by doing nerd stuff, and go. Good evening, Steven. Myth Dates is the guy who could take a small amount of poison to build the tolerance. I thought that guy's name was Rasputin. Blades. The dogs. What's the first thing that the thing went after in the movie? What's up, Manhattan? I half expected to see some weird gummy tentacle monster in the corner. How you guys doing? Everything fine? Are you bored? Well, of course it's boring here. We're in a Cold War bunker in the middle of nowhere. Love you guys. Thanks for having more personality than the other two characters in the game. 
Your bowls are empty. You guys want to eat, right? I'll go get you some stuff. Yeah, I'll go get you some stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll get it. Bring the dogs some food and feed them. Is kibbles and bits still a thing? Remember like in the 90s, kibbles and bits had all those commercials? Kibbles and bits. What an awesome name. Jana came back five months. So proud to be a Blade member once again. Coming through with the Blade bump, baby! Jean Ake, thank you very much for the five months. Fill the skies with eagles. We celebrate our Blade Master returning to us once again. You need you some kibbles? Yeah. It's $19.99 on Chewy. My dogs ate the same dog food for his whole life. I had a, not a disagreement, but one thing that me and the lady get into a whole lot is about animal food. I had cats growing up, and we only gave the cats EM's dry food. That's it. That's all the cat got was EM dry food. And it was well-regulated, very healthy. All my cats were healthy and happy, energetic, lived a long time. They only ate dry food. This cat that we got eats a mixture of dry food and wet food, and it cries all day long for wet food, and when you finally give it to it, it get, takes one bite and disappears like we're the idiot. And then it has some of the most tarantial horse shits I have ever heard or seen. If, a, if an animal uses the bathroom and then drags itself out of the bathroom going, ah, ah, ah. An animal shouldn't drag itself with its hind legs dangling behind it. Going, ah, ah, ah. Is that dog food? Bring the dog some dog food. I don't know where it is. Poor thing gas itself? Oh, no. If I was dog food in a Cold War bunker, where would I be? Surely they don't keep the dog food in the kitchen. Your cats only eat EMs. Dry That's exactly what my cats ate for years was Eam's dry food. And then every once in a while we'd give it some catnip to let it play with like once in a blue moon or like a little treat or something every once in a blue moon. But mostly it was Eam's. Your daily routine is to eat dry food and then beg somebody for wet food. And then once you get your wet food, take one bite and they're going to take a super shit and cry about it. Normally the thing's highlighted in green, so where would... This is where I live, or all of us. Hola, Hordador! <laughs> uh, I got that clip. I meant to make... a video out of it today and uh i made some other videos instead she had a fun red right folks that anomaly was easy to Why we it's too funny not to play. Tokyo. All right, do what you do. Remember the guy on the seat there. How can we help? I don't think. Jalen Brown. Yeah. I ain't gonna find it. <laughs> All these videos look the same. <laughs> you 
know how That's But it's so funny. Not this one. That's a fun stream. You can't help. Got got it. Got it. You can't help. But type Hey baby. I know. I get Not in the way that you boo boo. Not in the way that you boo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shame. Oh, no, no. Shame. <laughs> Shame. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I'm making a whole song with it. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm working on a song for it, no kidding. Shame. 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 Do you know what Game of Thrones is the king of? You know that awkward moment in every single show where there's nobody around the entire time that you're watching it? And then the second that a boob or a sex scene comes on, or in the instance of Game of Thrones, Wieners, we floppy floppy wieners. The second a floppy wiener or a sex scene or something pops up on the screen, somebody walks in like, hey, what are you watching, Scotty? And there's like some chick getting her eyes knocked out of her skulls in the background. Like, ah, figures. Thank you for four months. There's the dog food. Barbara Booby Blades. Do you guys know I've never been back to Chick-fil-A since that happened? Good evening, Jamie. I refuse to go back to Chick-fil-A when me, a broad-shouldered, grown-ass, full-bearded, huge bicep masculine man pulls up to the window and the window clerk looks at me and goes, Brenda? I should have just drove off because this one get my order wrong anyway. Chick fil A sucks. Here you guys go. Oh, I gotta go in there. Oh, we're screwed. We're screwed. Here you go. There you go. Good job, boys, guys. Bon appetit. Don't eat my meat. I've never seen Game of Thrones. Is it worth starting now? If you like fantasy or if you like Lord of the Rings, you're going to love Game of Thrones. It's the. A lot of folks will tell you it gets. Oh, harder, Daddy. That stupid show has been a hotel. Um, the last season is the weakest season, but the season right before that was huge and delivered so much. Collectively, the show is fantastic. Absolutely. There are so many moments during that show where your jaw just hits the ground and you're like, no way. The fighting's fantastic. The character development's fantastic. Every single person is perfectly cast. You've got people that you hate and you root against. You've got people that you love and you root for. And then it never, ever, ever goes the way you think it's going to go. Ever. Nothing ever... They don't follow any storytelling tropes at all. If you like fantasy and you like Lord of the Rings, then you'll like this show. Okay. You watched season one and never watched it again? Season one 
they just there was a lot because you know they're condensing books and these books were like a thousand pages long season one was still good it's a great show it really hits its stride like season three through six it's just every episode you're it's very, I told you guys how I am with TV series. TV series don't normally hook me. I, I will watch a couple of episodes and then I'll lose interest and leave. Not because the show's bad, it, just, it never hooks me. This show hooked me. Every Sunday I was looking for, I would count down the minutes on Sunday till nine o'clock on Sunday night. I'll go to the kitchen, pour myself another cup of tea. Hey Maya, the dogs. I'll go pour myself a cup of tea. The, all I can say is the red wedding, yeah. The Red Wedding. Well, what are you going to do? Go get a cup of tea? I'll rest a bit. This guy really rests a lot. That's not what I'm talking about. The radio works. It's just that the signal can't get through because of the storm. Talking you really about need you to and sit Maya. down and watch Game of Thrones? They build up the supernatural threat. Because the show is very much supernatural, but it plays real-world politics for the first six seasons or so. But they really build up the supernatural threat to such a point where it just feels like an, an overwhelming force of nature that you're never going to beat. Like, they just slow burn this supernatural threat for seasons and seasons and keep feeding you little bits, keep feeding you little bits. And What do you mean? Come on. I can see the way you look at her. Well, listen, dude. It's you or her, and I'm horny. And I'm not into dudes, so it looks like it's Maya. Don't make this up, Vic. We are scientists. Scientists don't get laid. Scientists aren't into canoodling. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> Hang on, my cell phone's ringing. That's my ringtone. It's Has Been Hotel. This show's all the rage. You gotta check it out on Amazon Prime. Do you like anime? Do you like modern writing? Do you like musicals? You're gonna love this. Unless you like good things. Are you okay? I'll be a lot better if you high five me. He's looking for my secret tunnel. Take that depression. <laughs> yeah, you suck depression. I have seen some shit, man. I kid you not, I have seen some shit. I've seen so much stuff, I need to take a little drinky poo. Scientists don't have chemistry together. That's probably one of the most smart jokes. Stop singing Secret Tunnel. <laughs> People in the <laughs> There's folks in the audience who actually do show up to watch the game. And like every person sitting beside them, Secret Tunnel, I like hot dogs. Do, 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 do.
Fab Five Freddy told me everybody's fly. DJ spinning, I said, my, my. Flash is fast, flash is cool. Here's Friends the deal, I'm the best there is. No it's plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. Brother, uh, what's that? What's that, brother? And there are people. Oh, little German boy, don't go to the weed cave. There are people in the audience who are trying. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? There are people. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I smoke my stogie anywhere I want. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. Coming to my barn. to choke on that red of yours your salad and lick all of your before taking out your and with more teeth and tell you that's what I appreciate about you I'm trying to fuck. There are people who are trying. It's to... like my uncle Kagi once said with great power comes great big booty bitches. Here, if I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. There are people in the audience who are trying to watch the game. It's half and half. Some folks are here for the gameplay. Help me! Help me! The League of Blitz. Oh, harder, Daddy. Stop it. Get some help. $20 from Jeremy D. Watson Soup. Tribute! I do hate the Ohio. Fuck is insurance. <laughs> oh, what? Hey, Kristen, tribute! Come back at any time. I will. I will come back. Tribute has been made. The Blade Bonfire has been doused. It's the end of the world. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. How's the game so far? Good. 
Jeremy has come in. He covered us all in soup. Delicious. Heroic. I'm proud of you fellas. You all kept your head on a swivel, and that's what you gotta do when you find yourself in a vicious cockfight. That's my comedic hero, who I look up to. I love Will Ferrell. Jeremy D. Hello, Eric. Thank you so much. Bing, 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 bong. China. Bing, bing, bong. Obamacare. Bing, 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 bong, 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 bong. Trump's got a post on his Instagram. He was doing a press conference, and he, you know, he's always on the attack about how it's a witch hunt. They're out here to put me away so that I can't run for president, whatever. And he's his bond got set for like one hundred and thirty-nine million dollars, like some ridiculous. Money amount. don't jiggle, jiggle. It folds. I like to see you wiggle, wiggle. For Stop sure. Stop being horny. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Do the right you thing know, and right join the adventure it. team. I know what's wrong with it. Soup ain't got no gas in it. That soup ain't got no gas in it. He was trying to leave the conference, and as he was leaving, somebody yelled, How are you going to post that bond, Trump? So just chill out. You know, drink a seven up, eat a moon pie, quit murdering people. Trump turned around and said, Cash. And then the Instagram, this is his on his official Instagram page. He turns around and goes, Cash. And when he says cash, it stops and those glasses come down on his uh on his face starts playing that rap music what, what a jerk <laughs> i don't do politics don't care about politics i've said this a million times on this channel but that's just that's uh, just meme that's just meme our top story tonight a quirked up power. white boy with a little bit of swag bust down sexual style is he goaded with the sauce find out after the break you know I'm goaded with the sauce. Well, okay, I like her, so what? Well, why are you waiting? Why Life are you waiting? Hawk and ball torture from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at wikipedia.org. Why did you miss it? When we get home, you can catch up. Nope. It was a very long time ago. That explains the flannel. She worked with me on a project. We seemed to get along. Then hey, I Shane. asked her out and we had a good time. What happened next? Nothing. I was sent to Cronenheim Station. And then here. So three years have passed. Blurt profits are up. They're just a dollar. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a buck. Get your shit together. Get it all together and put it in a backpack. All your shit so it's together. That was like a teen comedy where the music's playing and the main character's giving a speech and trying to motivate the down on her luck nerdy girl. Chrissy, wake up. Get your shit together. Fix it. You figure it out now. Yes, yes, yes. Overstimulation. I know this show is just so overstimulating. I know. Yeah. If I can handle it, you can handle it. Why am I telling you this? Because you work together and for a long time. 
For you, work is not a hindrance, but rather a connecting link. So go to her and talk about something. We've been stuck in this bunker for God knows how long. Damn romance. Okay, Victor. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Thank you. You are right. Life is too short. I'll go check with her to see how the work on the samples is going. And maybe we can talk about something else. I'll try to cast a bait. I'll try to masturbate and not think about relationships. Yeah, yes. Find out from her how things are going with the samples. And don't forget to ask her to examine your sample. <laughs> I am Cal, hear me moo. I weigh twice as much as you. And I look good on the barbecue. I can suck your dick. What a joke you are, Vic. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah, yeah, I was already told about this. Okay, don't be upset about that girl. He's also a sign. The giant horse cock weighs over 11 pounds. Been a lot of wiener jokes in the last few minutes. The flight feet back on the menu, boys. That might as well be a wiener joke. She understands everything. If everything went well for you then, maybe she is waiting for you. You seem like a grown man. You are so naive, Thomas. Go already. Find out about the samples. Which one do you want me to do? Do you want me to go get laid or do you want me to do science stuff? Those samples? Is that in your window? Samples? In your pants? What are you, a fucking member of the League of Blades or something? Hello? Pizza delivery for, uh, Icy Wiener? Stack of the oh, penis. crud. More wiener jokes. Hey, Maya, I'm coming to you. I'm gonna try to not make a wiener joke. There's been 14 in the last two minutes. I'm not gonna be number 15. I'm gonna be ready to say smart, handsome things. Why are you leaning to the left? Your fingers. Hey, Thomas. Hey. You won't believe it. I probably will. Maya, how are you doing here? I discovered something interesting here. These organisms respond to light. I don't care. Do you I suck dick? a little experiment. I shined a laser on them and they seemed to go into hibernation. Activity dropped sharply. But when I turned off the laser, activity was restored. After I noticed this, I decided to try placing them in an airtight box that didn't let any light in. And you know what? I have Tourette's. Sorry about the do you suck comment. I have terrible Tourette's. Huh? They've multiplied. Wow! Very interesting! Yes, can you imagine? Lick, I lick, kept lick the my box balls. in the dark just for a minute, and they <laughs> yeah. doubled in number. I am so sorry, I have got awful Tourette's. Worse Tourette's when I'm nervous. It really triggers. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel, through the mountain. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. My love language is music. She's also part of the Tourette's. How's this going? Are we doing all right here? How is this possible? So they reproduce in the dark? We should reproduce, sorry, Tourette's. It looks like it. Everybody got a water buffalo. Yours is fast, but mine is slow. Oh, where'd we get them? I don't know, but everybody's got a water buffalo. Ooh. 
My high school mascot was Buffalo. Word around the offices, you've got a fat cock. Yes, I do. I've got a fat cock too. Maybe we should rub our fat cocks together sometime. Me and Victor were comparing manhood. Cause that's what guys do, man. You know, you ever heard of dick measuring contest? <laughs> I thought you'd want to know that. And I also thought that I would share something from my childhood. I really liked Looney Tunes, Tiny Tunes. Which theme song did I just sing? Do you like Looney Tunes? Does it matter to you? Who's got a fat wiener? When I conducted an experiment with light, I dimmed the lights in the room and began to observe. I saw the most active of them seem to devour the weak and less active and become larger in size. That's very interesting, and I can't believe we got through an entire sentence without an interruption. What does this mean? Let me try to explain. Imagine if wolves would eat old or sick wolves from their pack, and then become bigger, more active, and stronger than before. Survival of the fittest, cull of the weak. I get it. Live by the axe. It's one of my favorite lifestyle choices. That's right. And to be honest, it scares me a little. Are you weak? You're not weak, babe. I'll make you strong. Whoa. Nice cock. My hang-up when it comes to Tourette's is the male appendage. I take medicine for it, but I haven't took any ever. That's for sure. There is no cocks like horse cock. Send your asshole into shock. It's true. Don't come inside of her. I want it in my mouth. I want it all over my chest. You're going to cover her pretty little face in all of your hot, sticky chins right now. I think Victor's Bluetooth is connected to my phone. I'm asking you on a date. Would you like to get a number nine with me? Chicken nuggets with the Szechuan sauce? Maya, I'm over here, yeah. Hi. Chicken nuggets, Szechuan sauce? Uh, that of course is the mating call. Birds of a shit feather flock together, Randy. But I got a feeling Ray is going to be the first to fall. It's a turn of phrase. Ever heard of a murder of crows? Well, birds of the same feathers shit together. It's just for the sexual thrill! The sexual thrill! Oh! Birds are very in tune with their bodies and they shit on their feathers just for the thrill. See, I'm a scientist too. I do science. I know a lot more about science than you do, Maya. 
We should get some sleep. I'm really wore out from all the turrets and science. Yeah. I hope so. I feel uneasy in this bunker. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. I'll go to sleep then. I mean, we're all going to sleep in the same room. Did you see the bunk beds and futons? They're all in the same room. I'm on the top bunk because I'm cool. Don't be suspicious. 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 Don't. There's some weird stuff going on around here. You, the last thing you want to do is be suspicious. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is awkward. Is it, this, is it the turrets? Good night and sweet dreams, Thomas. Yeah, good luck. I mean, good night. Bye. Ten dollars from Zatchby. Thanks for being patient with us all and letting us get out towards our thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. You got it, Zatchba, as Dakbot calls you. Thank you very much for the tribute. Thank you for the. Cricket got in here. Thank you for the tribute. Thank you for supporting the League of Blades. Thank you for putting it into a good cause. Justice. I should have asked her to tea or something. What a fool I am. You want some tea? Can I get you some tea? Maya, I love you. That's how we kiss where I'm from. Threats. Thank you, that should be. I'm extremely tired. I need to go and take a nap. All this dude talks about is how tired he is and he wants to go to bed all the time. Victor? <laughs> See, we can't screw in here because we're all in the same room. I mean, what? We can do like, what's her name did in the movie about Russian snipers where there's about 40 Russian people all laying in a ditch together. They're soldiers, and then the sniper has sex with whatever her name, Rachel Weiss, but it's really gross and uncomfortable because there's two dudes in between them on each side because they're all laying together in a trench. But when the urge hits, man. Night night. There's something in the ice. Was that Maya screaming? Maya? Victor's gone. Victor! Don't you touch my Maya, Rocky. Yeah, I, I think the name of the sniper movie is Enemy at the Gates. It's got Rachel Weiss. I finally remembered her name. It's got Rachel Weiss, and then the Jude Law, I think, is the sniper, and he, he fights against Ed Harris. That is such a good movie, man. It got a little dark here. What happened to the light? Probably the wiring is damp. I'll go ask Victor to check. Well, Victor was asleep right here. But now he's salad fingering somewhere in a corner. Okay. Our bed's right beside the front door. What a dangerous place. No flashlight for me. Oh, crap. Hold on to you, Dookie. Things is about to get spooky. Maya! 
Whoa! What happened here? You're doing great, Vagina. I need to remember to say that if I ever turn into a <laughs> if I ever turn into a woman, you're doing a great job, vagina. I'll say that next time when I'm in bed, I'll yell at my pecker. You're doing a great job, pecker. I'm proud of you. There's been times I've yelled at my pecker for not doing what I told her to do. Hey, Xander. Maya. Uh, Wilson or wh whatever the name of the guy, the other guy is. It's too dark in there. I'm not going there without a flashlight. I think I saw a flashlight somewhere in the bedroom. I did. We missed our chance with getting up in Maya's guts. No maidens. I messed up, man. We're maidenless once again. I need my maiden. Yoink. F is for flashlight. Burns down the whole town. U is for uranium. Bomb. N is... Looks like all the power has gone out. Good thing I have a flashlight. Yeah, good thing. You made it early? Yeah. You're early. Blood, what the hell's going on here? Victor? Are you here, Victor? Hey, Ladarius. Victor's not here, but the Vok is. Wherever Vok is, where the Victor is. There goes your chance to bang Victor now. <laughs> Skill issue. number back there Eagle Claw Eagle Claw I know of. Five new members to welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Five new Blade Masters. Gifted upon us by the great and powerful Your Dirty Thoughts. Thank you so much to Your Dirty Thoughts for gifting five memberships. Thank you so much for that incredibly heroic deed. 
taking care of other folks in your community and raising them up with five gifted memberships. Let's welcome Michelle Wing, Ladarius Darden, the Gooch Goblin, Tiffany Ziegler, and Kate. Last name cut off because I can't see it. <laughs> welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Be sure to thank your dirty thought for the gifted membership and Thank you for being somebody else's hero, buddy. Thank you so much. Bringing on five more members to the Blade Masters. The dogs are tore all to pieces. Gooch Goblin? Yeah, that's Amber. She is a Gooch Goblin. She's painting tonight. Wait till you guys see what she's painting. I'm gonna hang it up here in the office. It's Lord of the Rings thing. Hank Hill's trying to get a hold of us. This is Vesna Station, over. Jeff, calling, repeat, answer. Vesna, I hear you with interference. We have some problems with electricity over here, over. Daria, did you hear what we found? Super dangerous. Uh-oh. It's not a friggin' derg. Please repeat, over. Daria, I repeat, the stone that found this the remains of just at I this more than eight thousand years old hot pounded and saves lives triple threat you should see your boots <laughs> please repeat heavy interference I cannot hear you Zarya be careful find maybe dangerous that stone which we found it's something ancient radiation background can simply colossal your sample possibly related be careful you be my dad? I can be your internet dad. Holy crap, stupid old radio. Freaking storm, I can't understand crap. The guy's pausing between words to simulate bad signal. It actually is a technique that when there's interference in radio transmissions to do a in between words in an attempt to try to Paste out the interference. Be careful. And you slow. Find maybe dangerous that stone. You're welcome. Interference. Well, great. Now the connection is completely lost. I used to work in an area called Mount Rogers, and it's the highest elevation on the East Coast. It's 5,600 some odd feet above sea level. Radio, awful, awful. So you just spoke slow, long, so that way if there was interference in the word that you were speaking slow, People could try to put the pieces together instead of, oh my god, everything's going really bad up here. And all you hear is, up, bad, step, step. Best boobs on this side of the Mississippi? That's for people, no, not on the east, not in the mountains. 
we don't save this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> I tell you what, the best Cajun stuff I this side of the Mississippi. It seems there was something else, something about radiation and danger. And also it seems there was the word ancient, but I could be wrong. Well, that was some kind of nonsense. I hope everything's okay there. Dead dip. I disagree. Well, that's your power. So cold here. A ghost. What are you barking at? What happened? Scared of the dark? Everything's fine. Don't be afraid. The name of the game is called My Task Manager says Project Unknown, but whatever the name of the game is in the title of the stream, I think it's what we left in the ice or what we found in the ice. What is it, boys? There's something in the ice. There you go. There's something in the ice. There you go. The dogs just stopped barking. Is that because I'm here? There was one next to my bed. I didn't catch what he said before that. I was trying to watch, make sure we didn't get snuck up on. We've yet seen Maya or Victor. Oh no, bro. Stuck. Booga, 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 booga. So that's it. Oh, whatever it was, got drug out in the cold. Oh, that's why it's cold. So there's a trail of blood leading from this room this way. Out the door. Why is the door open? Where is the blood coming from? I'm stuck. And I... Okay, I got out. All right, see you later, Manhattan. Oh my god, it's corn.
wonder where Maya and Victor went. He said there was something in the bedroom I had to grab. A lantern? Why do I have a flashlight and a lantern? I better get a drink now because things are probably about to get really intense. Hey, we all doing? Hey, you having fun? That's good. If you're having fun, if you remember to leave a like on the stream, that's really important for a YouTuber. It lets YouTube know that you're enjoying yourself, and maybe other people will enjoy it too. So, so you the can dogs. show the stream to other people. We can get bigger. We can get more people in the League of Blades. We can grow the community. Good heads up there, League of Blades. Ricky Spanish haunts people in both Langley Falls and in Boomtown. Dogs sure are quiet. Only use a lamp. I can't see with it. That blurb got you. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> one thing that this game's got going for it that a lot of indie games don't have is that despite all the nonsense that's happened here tonight, all the chaos and. <laughs> that somehow this game still has such a tenseness about it that you could cut it with a noise i'm here behind you look behind you your dirty thoughts may have the record for most gifted subs over the last couple of days i think that's 20 or 25 and i think that record was held by lord frieza who showed up for the first time in like four months the other day who had the record for most gifted subs your dirty thoughts hot on the heels with five more members to join up here in the hall of heroes new blade master such as helen w mike mandy hay gary 17 and real real welcome thank you for your tribute to the community thank you for being somebody's hero welcome what's the record i think i want to say that it was somewhere in the 40s lord frieza did it one night while he was playing a dj horror game and he just kept going and going and going and going and i think we got up to like 45 or 40 or something the record is 60 whatever
Holy crap, we're still going! YouTube's trying to figure out who to give the memberships to. PM Don. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Eric Anderson. Splooge Lagoon. Never had anything like it. It says it's mayonnaise, ketchup, and wash your sister's sauce. Did you just say wash your sister's sauce? First off, you shouldn't be washing your sister's. Luna Chaos. That's 30. Thank you so much. To your dirty thoughts, thank you. Let me in, I'm trying to fuck. At least the dogs are still there. Yeah, but I walked in, yep. My name is Richard and I'm sitting on a rock. That's it, guys. Don't be afraid. Now you have more light than me. You've got food and water, so be good little dogs while I look for Maya and Victor. Who? Those poor dogs. Nothing scary has happened in the game, but I'm still on edge. Much like the Thing movie. Preach it, Tatiana. The pacing, the tenseness. The suspense. The sus. My name is Richard and I'm Flint. <laughs> you remember Stacy and Lucas? I do. Can I check the door the dogs barked at? Good boys. No, but good idea. In the Arctic, yeah, we're in some kind of like Russian bomb bunker. My, uh, maybe in Alaska. Isn't the thing drawn to light? Not that I remember. My, uh, oh. Tribute has been made. One dollar and ninety nine cents from PM Dawn. Ye are a membership log. Yeehaw! Welcome. So good to have you, PM Dawn. Are the dogs okay? Oh, I'm sure they're fine. Thank you for that tribute, PM. Honored to have you as a blade master. Oh man, what is this? Looks like some kind of growth. Are they organic? Did it hit you? I did get a red blip on my screen, didn't I? I need to find the guys as soon as possible. 
We'll bang later, okay? I mean, if you're this wet and this sloppy, you just said two of my favorite things. I'll be back for you later, okay, babe? Thirty-five gifted memberships. Bang in later. <laughs> Thirty-five gifted memberships. The Hall of Heroes is swelling tonight. Can you feel the power? As you look around you, the Table of Blades, say hi to all the new members. As your Dirty Fox is basically going through the audience and just duck, duck, Blade Master. Duck, duck, Blade Master. Hi. <laughs> hi. The League of Blades is swollen and throbbing, just like this growth back here in the back of the room. <laughs> oh, I feel it, all right. It's pretty stiff, ooh. Mary, too snappy. Jericho, Chang, Courtney Weimer, and Babe Ruthless. Take your rightful place at the Table of Blades, our newest Blade Masters. And thank you once again for being a hero of the community. Thank you for your dirty thoughts. 35 gifted memberships. I need to check the room for the generator. I think I heard something from there. Thirty-five gifted memberships. That's incredible. That is that is a deed that I will sing in the battle songs of the League of Blades for some time. I might write, I'm gonna write that down. What are you friggin' doing that for? You're just gonna die. I mean, that's also true. <laughs> Aiden, put the date. All right, where's the generator room? All the dogs. What the dog doing? They're alive. They're happy and they're alive. They're alive and they're happy. They're happy and they're alive. Where's the exit? Screw Maria and Andrew. <laughs> What a blade thing to say. Man, screw Jacob and Jesse. We're out of here. Where the hell's the generator room? One hand in my pocket, and the other one is flipping a cigarette. Yeah, 
want you to know Music calms the savage breast. <laughs> Out theater. For some reason, I can just see Jen stomping around her house singing this. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Yeah, I forgot Ted doesn't like Alanis Morissette. This is the generator room, I thought. You guys are spying on me? Cause every time you close your eyes, I'm just a pound and a bunch of your about you to die, you to die. You walk around with your shampoo. It's something to remind you. Where is the generator room? Hold on to your dookie, it's about to get spooky. Beard's fluffed. Muscles are huge. Nerves of steel. Blade chop at the ready. Now it's clear why the generator turns off this thing, it's everywhere. So the growth has its go time. Remind me to unfriend fake Jerry.
One of the dogs? Now there's three dogs there. How many dogs were there earlier? I thought it was only three. Was it four dogs earlier? Oh, it poops from toilet like a regular person. Ew. It flushed the toilet. What the hell? It's dead, not gross. <laughs> That's why she's a writer, everybody. She's witty. And pretty. All right, we're set there. It's got the bubble guts. Ever since I've cut out gluten, I don't have bubble guts no more. Go, go, gadget food allergies. Come in. I think, was this door locked earlier? No. Oh my god, this is our water. Yeah, well, it ain't anymore. It's because of Victor. Screw that guy. No more glute toots. the problem. I wasn't tooting or pooting. This thing is spreading at an alarming rate. I wonder what it is. Where did Maya and Victor go? I'm starting to worry. Worry not, sports fan. I need to check the exit from the bunker. Maybe they went outside. Why don't you got the dogs with you? They can keep you safe. Gluten's not too bad as long as you just knock out mostly just bread and pasta. But I don't mind. I I like rice. Rice is good. Hey, Charles. And you can still eat bread as long as it's uh, gluten-free bread. Shut up! <laughs> Do you know what else is spreading at an alarming rate? My mom! <laughs> My mom! doesn't look like these doors were open. They can't be opened at all. Snow flew into the cracks between the doors and froze. Alright. Isn't gluten-free pasta just like egg egg uh, eggplant noodles? Not as hard as Scotty is right now. Yeah, that's right. I'm a rock, I'm a rock hard. Rock hard, rock steady.
fruit is gross, man. They're already everywhere. Why are they barking again? I'm gonna check quick to see if everything's okay. drag the dogs into the ventilation. I need to try to contact, contact, I need to try to contact the business station. You gotta follow the damn train, CJ! with Lord Frieza. 40 gifted membership. You gotta follow the damn train, CJ. G, G's indeed. Tribute. Gifting five memberships. CJ was better for Mordecai. Yeah, his relationship with whatever her name was was really toxic. CJ the Cloud Chick is way better. Ashley Bruno, Grave Ghost. Hey, Christy. KH, Jamie Whitmer, Stealth Falcon. Also, Eric snuck in, but I was in the middle of a really tense moment. Couldn't say hi. And uh, Jared Magic Man Johnson showed up, and I was in a tense moment to say hi. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much. We, uh, the rat of uh, the rack, the, thinking of boobs, the record is tied right now with 40 gifted memberships. And then the Blade Beacon is lit! $10 from Jared Magic Man Johnson. 
more tribute. The magic man has cast a spell on the broadcast and made it that's much more powerful. The blade beacon has been bolstered. And now the stream will reach more people. Thank you, Jared Magic Man Johnson, for your tribute to justice in the League of Blades. Thank you. Yeah, I, I want to say, Todd, you're right there. It was somewhere like 40 something. We'll have to go pull every single number. You're, you're either at it just under it or just over it. It was somewhere in the area of like 35 or 40 or something. Station Vezda. Zarya is calling. I don't know if you can hear me, but we have an emergency here. Trust me. He tried to call and warn you first about what was going on. He's got his own emergencies going on right now. He don't need, he don't need your nonsense. Two of my team are missing and I can't find them. And also, Good evening, Bumblebee Tuna. Things are going great. Things are going good your way. Welcome to the adventure. It seems something killed our dog. Somebody mentioned earlier in the broadcast that, uh, well, there's the record. There's the record. Hey, Tara. Oh, yeah, the other station's gone for sure. Put it in the book. And let us celebrate this momentously heroic accomplishment. Tonight, were you there to bear witness? The record was broken by the absolutely incredible Your Dirty Thoughts. Five more memberships gifted. Let us welcome to the Hall of Heroes, Christy Powell, Lance Skidmore, Gordon, Bumblebee Tuna and Jason Callahan. I do declare I have witnessed. I wish I could hand out silver silver spray paint for you to spray all over your teeth. Witness me! Witness me! Speaking of that movie, there's another Furiosa coming out. Chris Hemsworth is a fantastic actor. He don't get enough credit. I hope he eventually wins a late career Oscar like Robert Downey Jr. Congrats to everybody. Thank you for holding the record. Your dirty thoughts. Welcome to the League of Blades as Blade Masters. Christy Lance, Gordon, Bumblebee Tuna, Jason Callahan. Enjoy your stickers, folks. We got brand new stickers to use. Well, when life gives you lemons. Uh -huh. Radio silence. There's some strange organic substance everywhere. Vesda, please answer. I don't know what to do. Vesda, please. Please answer. Nothing. He was deep in the shit before you ever got into it. He warned you first, remember? I need to get out of here. This thing's already everywhere and spreading very quickly. What it did to the dog. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. There's a powerful antenna at the base that should break through the storm. I need to get it in contact with Zvezda and tell them what happened here. I'm, I promise you, they're in worse shape than you are. This is a night to remember. Hey, big flex, night to remember. Tana. Dirty thought. I need to get it.
That was the dog said? I wasn't even looking at it. <laughs> Got the runs, yeah. That's the only thing we've seen so far. That, I was going to brag about this when the actual game was over with. How scary. This, this, I think this may be the scariest game I've ever played. Honest to goodness, this this is the only game I can remember that I have actually been interested in from a scary standpoint and forever. This is the scariest game that we've ever played. And it's done so without showing you anything. Just trick of audio, suspense, storytelling. Has you all on edge? Would you say you're on the cutting edge? <laughs> Shut up, bad Jesus. about Elden Ring? I said the best horror game we've ever played. Not the greatest game ever. The best horror game we've ever played. This is the scariest game we've ever played. What about Mario? Seven dollars from your dirty thoughts and a couple for Scotty. Hey man, you gotta stay limber. We gotta stay loose. In case we gotta run, we don't wanna. Pull a muscle. I paid for a whole seat, but I'm only using the edge of it. You said Elden Ring was a horror game? It is a horror game. I'll say what I want and I say what I mean. And if you don't like it, you can eat a giant rotten peen. <laughs> Thank you, YDT. Thank you so much. I'm not going back down there again. I have to live so I can get maidens, because right now I have no maidens. And I need maidens. I want maidens. I gotta find a way to clear the snow. I can't do it with my bare hands. It seems there's a shovel in the bunker somewhere. Somewhere near Maya's laboratory. In Dexter's laboratory, he's the smartest boy you've ever seen. But Dee Dee blows his experiments to smithereens. There is doom and gloom, and things go boom. Impressive you remember the intro? I think I told you guys a story. I've never been in more trouble in my life with my parents than when I took a hammer and beat a hole in the wall of my closet so I could make my own laboratory like what Dexter's got. Except I Daddy, got... Daddy, Daddy, when are we filming, Daddy? Come on, Daddy. Come on, come on, Mama. Let's do it, Daddy. Let's do it. Let's film Daddy. 
Eight dollars from your dirty thoughts. You've got to play Stellar Blade. That's all I'm saying. I did play Stellar Blade the other night. And we're playing Stellar Blade again when it comes out in two weeks. Yeah, I played it the other night. And then we're going to play it again in a couple of weeks when it, before this comes out. Anyway, I put a hole in my closet with a hammer. And then I crawled through and got a bunch of insulation on me and had a reaction. And my face swole up, my hands swole up. I could walk up to my mom and my face swole up, hands swole up, mom! <laughs> and then I had to show her what happened and she saw the big giant hole in my wall. It wasn't Maya's. Was it Maya's office right here? Yeah, Celebrate's coming up for sure, YDT. Good luck finding that shovel, no kidding. What's up Maya's office up here? So my dad was outside working on his car. My mom was at work while I was hammering away. And then my mom got home from work and she was getting cleaned up. There wasn't no more hammering being done. I was crawling around in the hole and then got fiberglass or whatever, just insulation all over me. My dad's a redneck without being a redneck. He grew up in the mountains. They you just you work on cars. Oh, there it is. That's the most we've seen this thing so far. A shovel is a fantastic impromptu weapon. It's very good at keeping distance. It has a sharp edge. Great for cleaving off heads. And then you can bury the badass when you're done. Hurry up, won't be here for a second longer. Alright, let's go. I think I hear dogs. Are they alive? Help me, dog! Come on! Come in! Come in! There's something in the ice. Fuck, it's cold. The storm doesn't seem to subside. I need to try to contact the Zvezda station on the radio, but when we left the base, we closed all the doors except for the recreation room on the first floor. The keys must be there. Alright. Did you put on a jacket? Wow. The indie game has foot movements in the snow.
blue signal light. Hey, look. Are those our snowmobiles or somebody else? This is the same piece of ice that we brought with us to the base. Doors of the bunker, they're open. Have the guys really gotten out of there? You go to the base, get the keys to the radio room, and contact the business station. Okay. You know, I say it all the time playing our fantasy games that we play that I'm like just awestruck by the set piece and how beautiful the game is. Was closed with another on the other side. Okay. Where's Jack streaming? He's on Twitch a lot more than he is on Facebook now. There's not many people holding the torch on Facebook anymore. They keep promising creators all these big changes they're going to make. There has been radio silence and there's basically nobody running moderation at Facebook. Every single Facebook gaming stream group that I was part of when I was big on Facebook, it's all like, not Portuguese porn, but it basically is. Like, there's so much crap that's running wild on that platform right now. Not a lot of people holding, holding the line anymore. Plus, they stopped paying me, so I stopped streaming there. Oh yeah, and stuff gets lost in the algo. He said several times that he streams on Twitch, but I've streamed on YouTube for two years. And people show up and go, I thought you quit streaming, but I've been streaming on YouTube for two years. Stuff just gets lost in the algo. It happens. Do you do Twitch? Uh-uh. I'm not anti-Twitch, I just don't have any interest in starting to Twitch. I probably should. I don't know why I haven't. I might do it. I may start a Twitch. No reason not to. We've told you to do it multiple times. Very kind of you, friend.
Every door's locked. You can watch on Twitch. I like streaming on YouTube. That's why I haven't made a Twitch. I like YouTube. I pass on the bottom. Okay. One of my sound dampening mats just fell on the floor. <laughs> Start twitching out. I like YouTube, but YouTube is just not for streaming, apparently. I constantly... I wonder if people ask Twitch streamers if they stream somewhere else. Or Twitch is just the end-all, be-all. Have ever considered being a VTuber? No. My face is kind of my brand. I cannot believe I checked every door in that one. Pea pie. You're way behind the chat. They did change it, yeah. And a lot of streamers are also streaming the YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Yep. I know Igor goes live like everywhere. He just pushes live and it just broadcasts everywhere. I just don't want to split my I like I like my audience to know that they can go to one place to watch. That you know, you don't have to be like, is he gonna be on Facebook? Is he gonna be on YouTube? Is he gonna be on Kick? Is he gonna be on Twitch? Is it... You can find it all on YouTube, baby. Twitch change the rules so you can simulcast now? Yeah, yeah, I, I I got you guys. I may end up doing it. I think Twitch, YouTube seems to be much more shut up, play the game, and Twitch seems to be a lot more, let's all have fun together as a community and play the silly blurps and hang out and hee-haw and a lot less, because when I don't play the game at a certain speed, passerbys will come in and go, just play the game. Yoink. Oh my booty! Here it is. Hey, can you hear me? That's the guy. Someone answer. Oh, you're alright, Pepe. Honestly, the reason why I've never done it is I just like to simplify things. Because you guys remember, I streamed on Facebook and YouTube for a whole year while I was making the slow transition off of Facebook for a whole year. And I hated it. I hated having two chats. I hated. People feel, even when I was multi streaming on YouTube and doing vertical and horizontal, having the two different chats, either one chat was rolling and one chat wasn't. And you guys know how my philosophy is about how much fun a show is. If the chat's rolling, that to me as an entertainer means that people are having fun. Now, me personally, when I watch streams, I don't talk to anybody ever. I just, I'm not a talker when I watch streams. I think the reason why is because I talk so much professionally i just don't want to talk when i'm not in front of a camera so i just don't talk i'm actually very quiet in real life you'd be really surprised how quiet i am when i'm not streaming i don't ever say anything ever please somebody victor oh that's victor our buddy the cock block scotty is shy i just don't have anything to say when i'm not streaming when I stream, you know how it is, Grim. When you stream, your personality's turned to 11 for three, four hours, and then I get tired and I don't care anymore. <laughs> you didn't for a long time. You watched for a year until I said anything. I don't normally... But I get, you know, they say you have a social battery. I use so much of my social battery when I stream that for the next, <laughs> you broke wind, for the next 12 hours, I don't say anything. I don't talk to my friends, my family, <laughs> but I've always been that way. Even when I was a cop, I didn't say much. I didn't have nothing. If you don't have anything to say, don't say anything. When, when you're streaming, you're having a conversation with 50, 60 people, so you have to stay on it and stay active but when i'm not streaming i don't want to talk to anybody not because i don't like people i just don't want to talk 
YouTube doesn't really announce when people are streaming. I never get an announcement when you're on. So YouTube, if you turn on all notifications, it helps. But like you said, it's not 100% having all notifications. Also, I pretty well stream almost every single day and mostly at night. But the last month I've been doing a lot of family stuff, which has had my schedule messing around a little bit. But I had a little bit of a mental health thing where I was just plugged into computers too much and my mood was going down and my attitude was going down and I was just I had to unplug I had to get outside I had to go touch grass literally I had to go touch I had to get out so when I'm not when I'm not streaming I'm not in front of a computer I'm off doing I'm running through the woods yeah I used to do that like a year ago I was always outside running or working out or jumping through trees I had to get back to doing that again you can too much of a good thing you can stay you can stay plugged into the matrix for too long and if you don't unplug yourself from the matrix you get lost in it but i'm normally live every night around 9 p.m normally at least five days a week if not more last week we did nine shows last week victor where have you gone i woke up and you weren't there there's some crazy shit going on in the bunker something took the dogs away they're gone thomas is that you? God, I'm so glad to hear you. Listen, I need help. They don't broadcast live streams. My my live streams are, they reach the same amount of people every single live stream no matter what I play. And I constantly do different stuff and different tags and different everything. Reaches the same people every single time. But one advantage is, is that if I've got a VOD going off or if I've got a stream going off, it does show my little beacon, my little logo. It does show a big giant red live button, and you can click it. Do you know how hard it is to find live streams on YouTube that's game related? It's ridiculously hard. I'm in the hangar. I went to get fuel for the snowmobiles. I got pinned here. I, I think I'm bleeding. You'll be all right. Okay, I'm waiting. Please hurry. That's not the real Thomas. I agree. Papa communicates with pheromones. YouTube people look for on demand. And I, I want that. I don't want to be just a streamer. I would like to be a content creator who does streams to hang out with this community, but also does other things as part of the content creation stuff. Another reason why I decided to go to YouTube. I wanted to expand my portfolio. All right, let's go find... Uh, Jared. Jared! Why would I not ask about Maya? I don't know. What's up, Marcus? I think he already knows that Vic's gonna be like, hey man, you gotta stick your D in her P or whatever. There's a hanger over there. Let's go save him. There's a light that seems like somebody's knocking on the door. What's up, Aaron? Victor. Who's there? Whoa, it's Maya! Maya! Victor, open up. What's gotten into you? My name is not Victor. My name is not Victor. Thomas? Is that you? Yes. Blink twice if you're horny. Darn it. Yeah, it's me. Why are you locked? It was Victor. He began to behave strangely tried to attack me. I screamed, hoping to wake you up. He blocked my path to you, and I got out of the bunker through another exit. Maya is sus. Marcus. I'm addicted to the madness. This hotel is my Atlantis. We're forever gonna have a fucking reason to sin.
What do you mean? Did he attack you? Yes. He chased me all over the bunker. But I was able to get out, and he ran after me. When I ran outside, he caught up with me and locked me here in the lab. Who do we trust? Oh. Chicks over dicks any day. We're going... We're, we're Team Maya, man. We're going to make t-shirts of her dead eyes and luscious lips and huge personalities. We're Team Maya. What the heck? For what? Why? Victor is the thing. But why would the thing not eat her and take the time to lock her up? I don't know. Please, let me out of here. Are the other doors also closed? How can I get you up? Just bust the window. Yes, he closed all the doors in the laboratory. I don't know. Maybe there are spare keys to the lab in the break room. Maybe there are spare keys to the lab in the break room. Maybe. I'll go look. Are you okay here? Yes, I'm okay. But hurry up. He can come back at any moment. Okay. Don't be afraid. I'll be right back. I didn't pay attention to what she said. What she said to do? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Trust the dogs? Well, they're all dead. Maya seems to be safe. I need to help Victor. He should have the keys to the laboratory. And at the same time, I'll ask about the situation. All right. So, Victor is in the hangar. Also, is the game louder than me? Because the blizzard noise has made things much louder. Don't let her out. Oh, I'm letting her out. Uh, how long do I have to wait for you, Thomas? I think I'm getting worse. I'm on me, wait. I met Maya locked in the laboratory, and I'm very interested in what happened to you, too. She said you chased her, then locked her in the lab. What the hell, man? I don't trust her. It wasn't like that. She attacked me and tried to either bite me or scratch me. It was I who ran away from her and ran into the cold just to escape. I lured her into the laboratory at the base and locked her there. I wanted to refill the snowmobile before waking her up, but it's done. Okay, wait. I'll be there soon and we'll figure it out. They're both suspicious. I don't know who to trust. Who do we trust, Blake Chat? Do we trust Maya? Or do we trust... Who's the other one? Janet? Or Rachel, Robert. Trust nobody. The midnight hour is upon us. The bell has tolled. We raise our green lanterns. Trust nothing but my boomstick preach. Moon's out, goons out. It's time for the graveyard crew to hunt. Just trust whoever is hotter. That's gotten to me very far in my life. Everything's okay with Victor. Victor! Don't trust Rachel. <laughs> Jacob or Edward? Guys, it's blading time. Beard puffed, arms freaking 24 inch biceps, axes sharp, eyes laser focused. Blade chop at the ready. Goo goo gadget, get him. Hey, Victor's legit. That means Maya is a bitch or whatever. Finally. Frick, Victor, there's a lot of blood here. What happened? Ah, you sure know how to calm me down. I don't know. I just went to get fuel to start at least one of the snowmobiles and suddenly all these boxes fell on my feet. Ugh. Why are these so heavy? Because they got stuff in them? Because boxes is what they do? I don't know. We were never told what they were storing in that hangar. Alright. What happened with you and Maya? Tell me now. Do you really want to fucking talk about this right now? I'm bleeding, man. Help me, please. Alright, how do I do this? That box looks heavy as hell. Also, 
Are you going to explain your salad fingers from earlier? I think I saw a pry bar in the hangar here. A long metal piece. Ah, bring it. Maybe this way you can lift the box and I'll try to get out. That is one hell of a spider I just had on my leg. <laughs> Good lord, I was a huge spider. Well, it's dead now. I scratched it up. My leg was itching, so I went to scratch and rolled up a giant ass spider in my fingers. Ugh. I hope that itch didn't mean it bit me. That wouldn't be good. All right, I'll look for it. Hurry! I can't feel my legs anymore. Yeah, you'll be fine. Michael Jordan never had legs. And look how he did. Uh. You better not betray me, man, because right now I'm doing this for you. I have no mate. Check his wallet. <laughs> Where's the Krober? He said it was near the toolbox, I thought. Well, I could be making that up. I wasn't really paying attention, as I tend to do. Hmm. He's going to bleed out? Ah, it'll be fine. Normally the item that we're looking for glows yellow. I don't see it. Oh, shit. Weren't you a detective? I was a detective. What the? Victor? Tell my story. Or, I mean, I'll tell your story. Whatever, same thing. Victor's a dead man. Victor is a dead man. Victor! No! Why you and not Maya? Boo-hoo! Victor, I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta find the keys, get my out, get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm sorry, Victor. <laughs> oh, that's his little footsies. <laughs> I'm sorry, Victor. Well, I'm just gonna put my hands in your pants, okay? Sorry, Victor, you don't need the keys anymore. You don't need keys where you're going. It's so hard to say goodbye to Victor's head. Goodbye, Victor. It's scattered boxes. I gotta try to find another way. Maybe there's a passage somewhere between the boxes. Maybe. Or not. I don't like it. 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 This is what's called a fatal funnel. I don't like it. I knew it. Oh, where is this? Where is it? Eat my ass. I'm out of here. See you, loser. I remember you in therapy. Maya's light is on and it's very bright. She can attract this thing. Oh, it is attracted to the light. Good figure. 
Should be alright. Maya! Woo! 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 I made it. I made it. Holy freaking crap. Maya. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good luck, bitch. Hope you make it. Guys, we've played a lot of horror games in the League of Blades. We've fought a lot of monsters. We've slayed a lot of evil. I believe this is the scariest game we've ever played before. You said Elden Ring was a horror game. Yeah, that doesn't mean it's scarier than this game. Jack Wagon. Maya. Hey, Nick. Maya? She ditched me? Uh, with me the first time I got left behind by a lady. That's the antenna, ain't it? Um... No idea what I'm supposed to be doing, so I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna go back to the radio station, I guess. Ah, I live. Okay. Snowmobile and go. Like the stream so we can bang later. You heard the ball. Wrong guy. Like that stream, Lee. Fuel that fire. Make that blade beacon burn brighter. Bring in more heroes. Where was I supposed to go? Was anybody paying attention during all that mess? I know I wasn't. Here we go. Here's the radio room. There's a large and head on the roof of the building. I didn't catch the last part. I think there are some sounds coming from the bedroom. I need to check it out. Just get on the radio. Just get on the radio. Get on the radio. Man, my back hurts from being crooned over in a defensive position for three hours. Maya? Oh, it's fake, man. You saw Maya get mutilated. Maya? Uh. 
Hey, babe. Who the hell said that? Did you guys hear that? You heard it? Maya. I thought it devoured you. How did you? I managed to escape just as he broke through the roof. What is this creature? I don't know, but you're darkness now. I have no idea, but I saw something strange in the bunker. At first I saw something that looked like a worm. Then I noticed that in the room from which she ran out, growths appeared. It seemed organic. Growths? You heard me. Yeah. Then I decided to look for you. Notice the growths in other rooms too, and then the dog. What about the dogs? Well, they're dead. Oh my god. You don't seem too torn about this. What is this? What's going on? When you and Victor fell asleep, I couldn't because of Victor's snoring. So I decided to go and do a couple more tests. Of course it science did this. that these organisms, after so many years, were so active. Of course science did this. I started watching them again. Then I decided to go have a cup of tea. And when I returned, I saw a broken test tube on the floor. Apparently, I accidentally touched it and dropped it while getting up from the table. Why do you losers keep drinking tea, you losers? God, Maya. What? I didn't <laughs> do it on purpose. Anything can happen. Anyway, we have a whole block of ice with these samples. Well, I just took a rag and wiped the floor, then took the bucket of water and rag to the toilet. After that, I went to lie down on the sofa in the living room. What happened? Why did Victor attack you and chase after you? When I woke up, I went to the toilet, and Victor was there. He just stood there, looking in the mirror. You know, like a zombie. And next to him, I saw an overturned bucket with a rag, and it seemed to me that the rag was covered in some kind of slime. Okay, what the hell? So I asked Victor, but he didn't answer. When I came closer, I saw his empty gaze. He turned to me, but it was like he was looking through me, you know? No. I just watched him get chopped into a bunch of pieces. And then what? He reached out to me and grabbed my hand. I started screaming and struggled to escape. I tried to run away from him towards you and wake you up, but he blocked my path. And then I remembered that in that part of the bunker there was a way out. I was so scared, I just ran away. Please forgive me, Thomas. I don't trust her, guys. If we get the option to stick a fork in her and cook her, then we're going to. We need to do the blood test. You know what movie I'm going to watch when this stream's over with? I'm going to turn on The Thing, my comfort horror movie. No, it's not okay. Victor ran after me, caught up with me at the base, and locked me inside the laboratory. It felt like something was controlling him. It was as if something was giving him instructions. Then how did he get stuck under the box? And then get eaten? That's for sure. Then he left. As if he heard a call, he walked toward the hangar, and after about 15 minutes, you came. We need to find him. Together, we can handle him. Tie him up, call for help. She's so full of crap. The original Thing movie was awesome. It's my favorite horror movie. It's my favorite comfort horror movie. It's my favorite movie to cut on when I don't have nothing to watch and I want something to just comfort me. But if I recommend a masterpiece horror movie, like you gotta watch this, it's the best thing ever then I recommend The Shining. We can't do this. What do you mean we can't do it? Victor's dead. We're the monster? What? How? What the hell? This thing killed him. I tried to help, but I couldn't. Damn. What the hell have we gotten ourselves into, Thomas? I don't know. But I can be completely honest. I don't even want to know. All I want is to get us out of here. So let's get out of here. What's the plan? It's a safe shifter? Absolutely. We need to try to contact Vizda. The antennas here are much more powerful, so we can easily contact them. Okay. Sounds like Do you like think the aliens plan. survived? I think, if I remember recently, um, Carpenter, John Carpenter basically said 
he left it open ended and it's up to your imagination to decide in his universe and his mind's eye the thing survived so yeah I, I i reckon he did yes we will contact them and ask them to take us out of this hell what about this creature the two of us definitely can't handle it let's not act like heroes i tried to turn the flashlight on i don't know why it's dark oh well my flashlight's not on that's why there's your boob let's not act like we're heroes we can just call for help We'll tell them what happened here. And let them decide what to do. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Survived in your eyes? Yeah. That's he left it kind of open in. You decide. I think he made it too. There's no electricity, but we can try to power the radio from batteries. So I'll go to the hangar to get them. And you stay here. It'll be safer that way. And Maya, if anything happens to me, don't say that, Terry. Hey, nothing will happen to you. Okay? Yeah. Okay. I'll bang you if you don't die, but if you die, I won't bang you. I will never die. Be here. Barricade all the doors, and for the love of God, don't turn on the light. It's like the light attracts them like a bull's red rag. That's a weird choice of words. Okay. I'll be right back. I wonder who that voice was that said don't trust her. That thing gets attracted to the bat like a bat rat with bull red out of the rag. I tell you what. Where was I going? Oh, to the hangar again. Here I go. The thing's infecting me. I mean, it has bit me several times. I wouldn't be surprised if I have turned by now. I need to be careful. All these freaking alien bloopers popping up all over the place. Where's Matthew McGonaghy when you need him? I was rolling bloopers before the aliens even came and gave us bloopers. Jump scare? Where's a flamethrower when you need one? Yeah. I got a flashlight and a dream. Well done. Here it is. Not on purpose. I went to get a crowbird and you got chopped into a million pieces, Victor. Are you in my head now, Victor? Is your ghost haunting my soul, Victor? Victor. Get out of my head, Victor.
So does that mean that Maya is not affected? Because we do, unless there's two aliens here. So am I being hunted by an ancient, good morning, Julie. Am I being hunted by an ancient alien while also being haunted by a ghost of the friend that I let down? I barely escaped. Maya, I found the battery. Now I'll connect them and I'll contact the guys. Maya. Oh, Maya's dead. She left a note. Hey, babe, sorry about all this, but I got a stobo bill and got out like you should have three hours ago. It says here, Thomas, there are samples left in the laboratory on the third floor that we examined. We must take them with us so that we can study them properly in more suitable condition. I know you're mad right now. I'm not. But what kind of scientist would we be if we didn't take these samples with us and study them properly? Alive scientists and not dead idiots. We must understand what it is. We have to, P.S. Contact the guys from Zezda. Call for help. I'll be there soon. No, you won't. No, you won't. You were safe in here. You were safe. I had you. You were safe. <laughs> God, Maya. Freaking Maya, stupid. We need to get rid of this crap, not take these samples with me. Not now, Victor. I got a lot going on. I got a dumbass girlfriend. I got an ancient alien from outer space who's been unfrozen and wreaking havoc on the base. And I got Yuru haunting my ass. I got a lot going on right now. Leave me alone. I'm freezing. I'm hungry. Tired. Okay. Well, you did. <laughs> yes, he is. Station. Answer. The Vesta. How can you hear me? This is Zarya. Thomas, is that you? What the hell's going on over there? Bobby? I said that you and Victor died. And now I hear your voice loud and clear. What the fuck? Now listen here, Bobby. Peggy's on her way to pick you up. <laughs> Thomas, is that you? Maya said that you and Victor died. And now I hear your voice loud and say, what the fuck? Uh-oh. Maya is dirty. When did she say that? Uh, about an hour ago, Maya contacted us. She was crying. She said that Victor went crazy and attacked you and her. She said he fucking killed you. Then after about 15 minutes, we heard a one-way transmission. That was you that told us what happened with the dogs and some gross that filled the bunker. We tried to answer you, but you didn't hear us. After that, we tried again to contact Maya, but she didn't answer us either. Damn, Vesta. There's some Say real... Say what? <laughs> Damn, Vesta, there's some real fucked up going on here. Looks like there was something in those eye samples we found. Maya said it was some kind of ancient micro-organism. Organism. Disregard the last word. I don't know how, but he evolved quickly. Now, this is no longer a micro war gadnism, but a full fledged monster running around our base, and it killed Victor. That sounds crazy, Thomas. Seriously, are you trying to make jokes there? No, this ain't no joke, you dumbass hick. It's a tore Victor to pieces. Drag the dogs into the effing ventilation. The whole bunker's overgrown with some kind of giant organic matter. I have no idea what the hell it is. Please get us out of here, please. I repeat, this is not a joke. Okay, everything will be fine, Thomas. Calm down. Did you say us? No fucking way I can calm down. Yes, me and Maya. She's waiting for me in the laboratory. So Maya is alive? Yeah, you are you not listening to me, you backwards Billy? Hill Billy? It's me, Maya, and this terrible monster. Okay, calm down, Thomas. Stay safe. We're already getting ready. We'll be there in about a half an hour. What the effing foofa? Within a half hour, it takes 10 minutes to fly here by helicopter. I know you're on edge, but have you seen this weather? The helicopter will blow away on takeoff. Exactly. 
freaking storm. Sorry, there's so much going on here that this storm doesn't like the problem. It doesn't seem like a problem. I understand, Thomas. Listen, we'll be there soon. Most importantly, stay in a safe place. You understand? I understand, Fezda. Wait for you. Please hurry up. I don't know how long I can hide from this creature. Over. She's right behind me, isn't she? She's a liar, Thomas. He said that Maya radioed him and said that Victor killed me. That's not true. Why does she lie to him? Because Maya is a monster. I need to go upstairs and check if Maya's okay and hurry her up. The guys will be here soon. I think Maya is a lost cause. At the same time, I'll ask her why she made Victor kill me. Or said that Victor killed me. I think Maya is a lost cause. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be doing this. This is a bad idea, I tell you what. There's that voice again saying, don't believe her. Hold on to your butts, Chet. I think there's some big stuff ready to happen. Maya? Dude, look at all that blood. Was she okay till she got eaten just a minute ago? We should leave her? I agree. Good lord, look at the blood. Oh my god, maybe she was clean until she got eaten just now. Why the fuck did you come here alone? Why did you fuck these samples? I told you to stay away from me. No, Maya! Maya! I'll miss you. I'll remember you in therapy. I won't wait here for my death. I need to get out of my own. I need to check the fuel in the snowmobiles. Find the keys. Maybe Victor had them when he when he died. Victor, I'm coming back to rub on your dead body again. Is that dogs? Are they alive? The thing can mimic sounds. An old house. We used to live there until we set up a recreation room, the man built of the house. Now there's nothing in this house. Okay. Why did you include it? It's so high <laughs> to say goodbye to Victor's death. Sorry, Victor. Come here, buddy. Come here. I know I watched you get eaten by the monster. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. There's no fuel in some of those. I'll have to find some. I gotta find the key. Victor probably took them when he went to get fuel. There's a lot going on. Am I going crazy? For a scientist, he sure don't think. He's got blue balls, man. I'm back, Victor. Can I? 
Oh, freaking whisker biscuit. Victor, can I have my cream? I would just sit my ass in that room and wait for all the cavalry to arrive. I wouldn't keep this crap up. You know there's monsters in here, so why do you keep coming back? You're asking for it. Sorry about that, Victor. Yoink. Gas. Fuel check. Snowmobile keys. Check. Sense of self satisfaction? Check. Now I gotta fill up some of my bill and get the hell out of here. Guys. Thomas. Out of here, losers. I got a full tank of gas. I got Death Leopard and the eight track player. Ah, oh, man. I want to live, live, live. I want to live. Just floor it, idiot. scratched by something underwater in the basement, right? I don't care about that. <laughs> He's interrogating you, so you gotta answer his question. I don't care about that. Did you listen to what I said? This damn thing killed Maya. It killed Victor. And all the dogs. We need to fucking burn everything that was on the base so that this monster doesn't get out. You do realize that we did ask you about what happened, right? It's our job. Yeah, sure. Sorry. So much has happened. Thanks for getting me out of there. No problem, Mr. McReady. Okay, we'll continue later. Mr. McCready? They said his name wrong, but that was dumb. <laughs> McCready! Uh, I didn't know he was in this game. Just trying to leave. Just, uh, just 
trying to get out of here. All right. Ah, my head. Looks at lizard hand. Durr! I'm a thing now. <laughs> I'm a thing now. How do you feel, Thomas? Uh, powerful? Not like an alien? I'm okay, just a little headache. Ah, uh, They're observing me. I'm alien now. I'm thing now. Who are you? Where am I? Don't worry. Everything is fine. You better get some rest. Uh, what the F holes? You want to explain yourself? I'll kill you if you don't. I mean, we could be friends. Where the babes at? Feeling pretty tired. I might lay down. I can't. Never mind. I'm gonna go lay down on the couch. At least it left me a TV and a couch. Alright, I'm gonna sit in this wheelchair. Okay. Their chat. <laughs> I'm gonna go break down this door and kill you guys. Oop. What is this? Lie down on the bed and get some rest. It'll all be over soon. Well, that's comforting. Man, that place on my leg really itches where that. I guess that spider probably bit me. That's not good. Dumb spider. thing now I farted I alien tooted I made thing poop and now I'm sucking on some chicken bones delicious Thomas stand up and do a little dance if you can understand me I'm going to say it. That's the best indie horror game I have ever played. There's a different ending? Is there really? Oh, is there? That is the best indie horror game I have ever played. For me. I know it copies the thing by almost 8 out of 10 well this wasn't for you this was for me I was going to say I'm probably a little bit biased because I love 
because I love Elden Ring so much. <laughs> I'm probably a little bit biased because I do love the thing so much. Stupid internet. But, uh... That's the best... I don't think there's any other achievements. You missed it? Where you been there, sweet pea? We played all... It was the, It's the best indie horror game I've ever played before. We only missed one achievement, and it was don't trust everything that you hear. And I have no idea uh, how to get that achievement. Only 4.9% of people got it, though. I'll have to message the developer and figure out what he meant by that. Oh, this guy did Christmas Nightmares. And Silent Nights, which I don't think we've played. Yeah, the audio was fantastic. The guy knows how to do audio. Oh, we did play this game. This one was really good, too. Alright, I know. I remember that one. I remember that one. That one was really good. And then... We also played Christmas Nightmare, and it was incredible. That's the one that had all the fireworks and stuff. This guy can make good games. leave a comment sure I'll leave a comment Zach B says hi There you go. My name is Richard and I'm sitting on a rock. Boo, 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 All right. That was the best game. Did you play Alone in the Dark? No, I haven't played Alone in the Dark. I may probably come back and play Alone in the Dark. I, the game looked a little slow, but from what I did see, I think I'll enjoy it. So yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll go back and end up playing it, especially because there's a lot of monsters and stuff in that game, and I love hunting monsters, man. At night, we hunt monsters, baby. Folks, thank you all so much. Alone with my farts. Well, at least you're getting them out before I get in there. <laughs> thank you all so much for hanging out with us here in Boom Town tonight. Broke a record. Most gifted subs ever 45 gifted subs were handed out tonight so many new people to welcome to the hall of heroes to take their place at the table of blades also i think we may have broke a record for most blurts in a stream i'll have to go back and look but uh, we certainly had a lot of fun with the blurts thank you to everybody who gave tribute to the League of Blades tonight. Jared, Magic Man, PM, Don, Your Dirty Thoughts, Zachary B, Jeremy Watson, Manhattan, welcome back four months. John Ake, welcome back five months of Blade Master. Zachary B, the 10 Bones, Soul Gambler with the five. David Marigold back 13, 12, 12 months. Soul Gambler back 
12 months. JoJo gifting the membership to Daniel Emer Dragon Shadow. Wishing me a happy birthday when it's not my birthday, but you still gave us a 20 bone donation. Thank you very much, Dragon Shadow. Enjoy the rest of your night. Uh, we will be marathoning it tomorrow. And playing Dragon Dogma all day tomorrow for uh, Hump Day. Can we get one more like to get 100? Yeah, we've not got a 100 like stream in a while. Where's my hundos at? Can we get three more likes to end the broadcast? Thank you all so much, folks. Thank you for making this most fun broadcast on the internet. Thank you all for liking, laughing, lurking. Somebody unliked the stream. This is why I love the internet. Goodbye.